I'm a big sci-fi fan. I'm always fascinated with these life forms that had to adapt in order to cohabitate with other species. So the piece I made, as it turns out, was a character featured in the opening of the Valerian. I thought it was so cool. Just, you know, just in seeing them in this trailer. Is that just a fish in there? Are those his arms? Are those like mechanical hands? I, I didn't know what was going on, but I loved it. My name is Olivia McLaughlin, and I am a freelance illustrator. My name is Walter Lee. I'm an illustrator. My name is Melanie Duke, and I'm a freelance character designer and illustrator. My favorite Luc Besson work would have to be the fifth element. My name is Catherine Buda. I'm an illustrator and a student at Art Center College of Design. The same. <laughs> Eve Dorsey. My favorite Luc Besson film is Leon the Professional. It's got a lot of good action in it and good choreography. Definitely Fifth Element. I can't say anything else because I grew up on that film. My favorite Luc Besson work is actually Fifth Element. My favorite Luc Besson work, definitely La Femme Nikita. My freshman year of film school, we had to analyze it. Her integrity of her character was just the best and just the amount of action totally sold me. Three, two, one, exit. That's so cool. So this one is a portrait of Laureline, Kara. I love painting Kara's face. And I love classical painters like John Singer Sargent. I'm going to imagine that I'm John Singer Sargent in space, and I'm going to paint this space chick. That's yeah. cool. <clears throat> this I was mostly pulling from the original comic in terms of reference material. Basically, I went online and find whatever I can find of the movie. And I just used my imagination and just, you know, take from it. The one, the, this piece right here, is kind of inspired by a picture I saw a long time ago in a Ukrainian wedding ceremony when a couple was jumping over a fire pit. So I said, wow, why did I just show them doing that? Basically holding hand and going through like danger together. My piece is definitely focusing on the visual aspects of the film Valerian. That was kind of, that kind of embodies their dynamic in the movie. She's just like, you know, he's like, oh, I don't know. I just like the profile, the way it looks with that. Um, but I, I tried to make her look like Laura Lane. She doesn't always have bangs in her hair, so that look kind of... Yeah, silly. no, it's good. It looks, looks good, though. <laughs> I would agree. Oh, hey. Yeah. Can't wait to meet him. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, hello. hello. <laughs> Bonjour. Wow, I mean, how do you describe meeting one of your like childhood inspirations. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Pleasure. Mr. Yeah. Poisson, yeah. nice to meet you. It's definitely all inspiring being like within a two foot radius of such a visionary. <laughs> Pretty good work. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> Same to you. No, what I like is it's very different. You know, every style is totally different. This one looks like, you know, the painters in Montmartre in France? You know, the, the guy, they're painting uh, the Sacre Coeur. Looks like that. Yeah. Merci. <laughs> Thank you. You know his name? No. Mello. Mello. He was in the original comic. He kept a lot of the original graphic novel imagery. Yeah. Yeah. I was really happy about that. The pearls, they were also in the, in the comic book. Fantastic. It looks a lot like Mobius's work. Mobius influenced everyone. He was the king. Did you meet him? I worked with him on the fifth on element. The fifth element. Yeah. Yeah. On Valerian. The first year, I hired five artists for a year. They didn't read the script. They are not allowed to talk to anyone. And the only contact they have was me once a week by Skype. That's it, for a year. Because I want to protect them. I want them to be totally creative. We were talking about space and spaceship and they were free for a year. It shows, everything it shows. is so Definitely. imaginative and yes. just out of this Unhinged. world. The second year, I took six others for a second year. And then the third year is I put the 12 in the same room. Amazing. It took us seven years to do one piece. It's not very profitable to do one piece every seven years. No. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's a piece by, you know, by its own and it's a piece of art and love. Mr. Besson is wisdom. His answer is so simple, but yet it's deep. It really resonated with me as an artist, a lot of the stuff that he was saying. You just have to share. You can't win by yourself. If you want the people to be generous with you, you have to give them a lot. If we have five ID each, then I'm richer. We have done this one? I did. Yeah. I did the two on the Yeah, the back. other one too. Yeah, it's great. She has a great face. Wonderful oh, looking. Yeah. What's interesting with Kara is uh, you say, okay, put it in front of the camera, and then you, you go from here talking, and then you put your eyes in it, and you're like, what? <laughs> you can't believe how photogenic she is. Like, as soon as you put your eyes in it, it's just like... 
She's magnetic. Whoa. Is it true you met Dan, what's his name, in a restaurant? Dane. Dane Dehan, is that his name? Dane Dehan, yeah. yeah. I had read the press packet. It said you, you saw him in a restaurant. I have a meeting with him. Okay. And then the meeting was in the restaurant. I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he, was, he, he just... was not like serving things. There he is. Hey, sir. <laughs> yeah. There he is. <laughs> I was almost ready with Valerian, with my script. Kind of proud, like, you know, ooh, it's pretty good. <laughs> and I, Avatar just come up on theater, so I went to see it on theater, and I came back home, and literally I took my script and I did this. <sighs> and I throw it on the garbage and I start again. You basically, you think you're ready for the Olympic Games, and you open TV and you see Usain Bolt, and you say, I'm gonna go in four years. I'm not gonna go this year. <laughs> Do you have a favorite sci-fi? Not that you directed, but that you watched and that you like, one that stands out. You want me to have one friend and 10 enemies. That's what you want. Just one, <laughs> just one that you like. Come on, it doesn't have to be I can't tell one. I have to tell oh, a couple, few. a handful, yeah. five. 2001. Oh, yeah. Space Odyssey, okay. Uh, Star Wars. Of course. The first one was just like, <laughs> Alien, the first one. Alien. Blade Runner. Of course. Did you see any of those in theater when they came out? You saw Star Wars in theater? All of them. All of them, dear. Yeah. <laughs> we're on four, there's still one more. <laughs> Which one I forgot? Yeah, Avatar, so yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> to hear him list his favorite movies, it was like, yep, me too. Oh, I didn't notice you were there, sorry. <laughs> he seems like a really cool guy, down to earth. Very humble, humble guy. He's a goofball, you know, like your uncle. Bye bye, mister, miss. Really inspiring, and you could definitely tell how much passion he had for what he does. Thank you for your art. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for the film, it was fun. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye, bye, -bye guys. Bye -bye. I'm overwhelmed, like, I can't, I can't even talk. Bye bye.